What's good, YouTube? It's Tyler, and I'm back with another video. Y'all may be thinking, Tyler, what are we doing in the kitchen? We cooking today. Now, a lot of people have been asking for a meal prep video, especially when I post my meal preps on my Instagram story. I was gonna make it a TikTok, but I figured why not just put the whole process on YouTube so y'all can see it step by step. I went with the ground chicken today and jasmine rice like I normally do. So as always, I'm not gonna keep the intro long. We just gonna get straight into the process. Now, the very first thing you wanna do, no matter what, when you're cooking, is make sure your area is clean. So if there's any dishes in the sink or on the counter, just go ahead and put them away. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take out the pots and pans that you are gonna be using. If you can hear the dishwasher, that's my fault. So I'm using this pot for my rice and these two pans to cook my chicken. Now if I was cooking normal chicken, the first step would be to prep the chicken, but since ground chicken is almost like no prep, I'm gonna cook my rice first. So first you're gonna measure out the amount of rice you wanna use. Today I'm using six cups. Now, once you got the amount of rice that you need, you're gonna rinse it off in the sink to get all the starch and the chemicals that's on the rice off. And once you're done doing that, just drain the dirty water. And then you're gonna add however much water you need to cook the rice. I'm gonna put seven and a half cups. Now just set your rice on whichever burner you want. And then we go add some olive oil in there, some salt. You're gonna turn it on and let it boil. Now it's time to prep the chicken. I'm going to start by disinfecting the area of the counter that I'm going to use. And I'm going to do this after I'm done, too. Now, I'm normally an advocate for washing chicken, but if you get ground chicken, do not wash it. I made that mistake once and I'll never make it again. So I'm just going to start by emptying all the packs into this bin right here. Now I got my four pounds of ground chicken. It's time to season it. So first I'm gonna just drizzle it in some olive oil. This is four pounds, so I'm gonna use a good amount. Then I'm gonna start with Himalayan pink salt, then Lowry seasoned salt, then paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and some ground thyme. And then a little bit of this. It just has like a bunch of different spices in it, but it's almost done, so I'm not gonna use too much. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really like touching raw poultry, so I'm gonna use gloves to mix this up. Now that you got it mixed up, it's time to cook it. As you can see, the rice started boiling, so what I'm gonna do is set it to a simmer and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now for the chicken, I'm gonna cook both of them at the same time just to maximize my time. So first you're gonna set your burner to medium high heat. You gotta wait for the oil to heat up, because if you don't, your meat gonna stick to the pan. Now in the meantime, I'm just gonna go over this area again where I just seasoned the chicken. Now once your oil is heated up, you're gonna add the meat to the pan. And you can't be scared and try to throw it in from far away because that oil will jump back at you. Now you're gonna wanna move the chicken around in the pan so it don't stick and just let it cook. If the oil is popping too much, you can turn the heat down. And that pan, it was popping a lot more than this one. You're just gonna keep breaking it up until it gets to a consistency that you want. It's gonna look like ground beef. Now, once all that pink color is gone and it's not raw anymore, I'm gonna add some brown into it just to give it some color. You can turn the heat down so it starts cooking more evenly. You don't want it to cook too fast and it'll get dry. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now at this point, your rice should only have a couple more minutes to cook, depending on how much you cooked but I'm gonna leave mine in for about two to three more minutes. Now I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. And this part is optional. If you cut it, you might not wanna do it because it does add calories, but we're gonna add our sauce. So I'm going with Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce, and then this mild sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna start in this pan since it's deeper and drain it first because there's still oil, and then I'm gonna add the sauce. Now that it's drained, I'm gonna add my barbecue sauce. And I really don't measure when I do this. I just 
do until I get a good enough coverage, I feel like. And then the barbecue sauce is really just a base for the sweet chili sauce, so I don't want it to be smothered in the barbecue sauce, so this is a perfect amount. Now I'm gonna go on with my sweet chili. And now if you are cutting, this might not be the best idea, like I said, because this does add a good amount of fat and sugar. But if you're bulking or you're not worried about it, just go ahead and add the sauce. All right, now I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for about five minutes. I'm gonna turn off the burner for my rice because it is done. All right, now that the chicken is done simmering, I'm gonna put it in the container. Now I'm gonna move the other batch of chicken to this same pan and do the same thing again. Now while that's simmering, I'm gonna start prepping my rice. Now my favorite type of rice to make is cilantro lime. It tastes good, super easy, so all you wanna do, get some cilantro, Just get some butter, and get a fresh lime. And we're just gonna mix this up. And now we're gonna add some more and do the same thing until we season all the rice in the pot. Now we're almost done, we're on the second to last step. Now I gotta weigh and portion the food. I always be forgetting how much the containers weigh, so I had to take a picture right before and then weigh it with the food so I can subtract it and get an even amount in each bowl. Now this one was 31, 64.5, 33.5, 72.5, minus 34.2, all right, so I have a little over 70 ounces of chicken, so I'm gonna do 10 servings of seven ounces of chicken. Bro, what? And I'm gonna do a cup and a quarter of rice for each one. Now I'm just gonna repeat that process nine more times. Now I'm done portioning out all 10, and I have a lot of rice left over because I'm gonna use that for my breakfast meal prep, which is egg rice, and I cook them in the morning so I can eat one right after I'm done. Now when you're meal prepping, it's important not to cover the meal prep right away because that can harbor bacteria in your food when it's hot and you close it right away. So you gotta let it sit out or sit open in the fridge for a couple hours. Now of course you're gonna wanna add vegetables to your meal prep. I like adding it in every time I eat because it gets soggy if you just leave it in there. Thankfully, my mom cooked asparagus last night, so I don't have to worry about cooking it. Now that we're done cooking, we're on to the hardest part of meal prepping, which is cleaning. You can see how much of a mess this counter is and all the dishes I have to wash. We don't get to work right now. Now, as y'all can see, got the whole kitchen clean. Now it's time to eat. Nine out of 10, first bite. I don't even have to say too much. Y'all can see how good it was. Now that will conclude today's video. If this video did elicit an emotion of satisfaction within you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you would like to see every time I post, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post. If you want more people to see this video, make sure you share it. If you felt a certain way about this video, make sure you comment. And most of all, thank you for watching and see you next time.